Everybody's been talking about that Rachel Ziegler and her opinions on Snow White. Well, it seems that her co-star, Gal Gadot, you know, the one that uh, is supposed to think that Rachel Ziegler's character is prettier than her? Well, she's finally speaking up about Snow White, and she seems to indicate that maybe the shooting of this film has not gone as well as previously reported. Let's talk about reshoots here on That Park Place. Hello, I am Jodis J. Campbell, an investigative reporter for That Park Place, and here with me is Apple salesman, Mr. Vash Guy. Do you have some apples, sir? Well, oh, I have a nice juicy apple and make your all your dreams come true, Jonas. Uh, no, thank you. I do not like them apples. Uh, Gal Gadot. Uh, I keep going back and forth between Gadot and Gadot. Uh, there's somebody that I blame for that that's been on this channel that's famous that uh, I heard him call her Gal Gadot at a Comic-Con one time and it's stuck in my brain. Gal Gadot appears to confirm rumors of new Snow White reshoots after film was reportedly testing poorly and a mess. This by John Trent over there at that park place. Uh, Gadot passed, posted to her Instagram stories a photo of an actor's chair labeled Evil Queen. Gadot also captioned the post, feels good to be back. That is, that is, a, a fascinating quote for a film. Bash, what do you think about that? <laughs> I'm just, yeah, free to be. Well, feels good to be back. I mean, Jonas, how many times has this gone to print photography or, or at least to production? I'm hearing three times so far. I can't pin that down. It may have been two. It may have been four. But I, I was hearing a lot about shoots and then reshoots and then here we are at reshoots um you know the old joke about captain america uh, brave new world was that that uh, they said we're only reshooting three sequences and and those sequences are act one act two and act three um i i, I think that this thing is has been heavily reshot this is the tragedy of course with disney movies is, is you never get to know what did this look like before we'll, we'll we'll get into that in just a moment the image appears to confirm rumblings that the film would return for reshoots following reports that it was testing poorly and was a mess the rumor about poor test screenings and film being a mess came in the wake of another rumor from scooper daniel rpk alleging that the film was being praised and that movie was doing something different with the poison apple that's who what what, what do they mean by something different with a poison apple? Cosmic Marvel reported on the scoop from Daniel RPK, writing on X, Disney Snow White is reportedly doing something different with a poison apple. The film was also praised for being great. However, Empire City Box refuted this report. The user wrote, I actually can refute this Daniel RPK report. As I said months ago that it was it was in trouble before they moved it back a year, it actually is testing poorly, and those involved don't have much hope for it. The film is a mess and not working despite reshoots. Wow. Uh, this is this is the first time hearing of this. The user had previously indicated in October of 2023 that the film needed major help and extensive work in order to save it. He wrote, was going to hold back on this as it seems to have a narrative, but just bad timing. Hearing that four big budget films are either all disasters about to happen or need extensive work to save them. The Marvels, Snow White, Madam Web, and Ballerina all not working and need major help. Uh, the Marvels, obviously, we saw how that came out. That was an incomplete film. Bash, did you see The Marvels? Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> did, did not, but uh, nobody uh, else did either, so... <laughs> I, I, I'm going I'm, like I'm, I'm to make a statement that I can't make... Uh, it would have been harder to make this uh, 10 years ago, but everyone in my theater was in complete agreement that The Marvels was an incomplete film, and some for some reason they cut that thing into theaters and released it uh, before it was finished. Why was everyone in agreement? Because I was the only person in the theater. Snow White, obviously that got delayed. Madam Web, we've heard a lot about that. And Ballerina, I, I do believe that's like a John Wick style or maybe even in the John Wick universe, mm. uh, an action film. Has it come out yet? I don't know. Uh, somebody in the comment sections will help me there. Uh, the Walt Disney Company delayed the release of Snow White an entire year uh, from March 22nd, 2024 to March 21st, 2025 at the end of October of last year. The Hollywood Reporter's Pamela McClintock alleged that the delay was due to ongoing uh, SAG-AFTRA strike issues. 
Yeah, that's fascinating. However, a report from the Daily Mail in November 2023 alleged that the film was delayed because Disney was figuring out what to do. An anonymous source told the outlet Disney had to delay Snow White because they have spent so much money on it. And if it is a financial disaster at the box office, it might single-handedly cripple future remakes and potential Snow White sequels that they had planned. They also have to remove themselves from the bad taste in the mouths of online critics and want to instead deliver a great film and get to a point where they get it right. This was the first official image from Snow White that had been released of the character, I should say. Obviously, there was that behind the scenes photo of Rachel Ziegler with all the things in her hair. Uh, Poor girl. And obviously, all the behind the scenes stuff of the, uh, I'm going to say the second unit uh, shooting some some traveling shots here or there. Vash, uh, what is what do they mean by uh, a bad taste left in online critics' mouths? It appears that uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe you have critics who may have seen it and uh, and it didn't like uh, what they saw, or maybe perhaps the alleged reviews coming out weren't great from it, or maybe it was the uh, weird weird comments from uh, Zegler and. Well, and we, we know what happened uh, there to make her an online sensation. Perhaps it's any of those? I, I, I think so. Uh, Rachel Ziegler obviously made comments on the red carpet. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the few people in this camp that is willing to forgive Rachel Ziegler for her comments. I think she's young. I think she's probably um, maybe a little bit full of herself. That's, that's the hard, harshest thing I'm going to say about her here. Uh, and that she came off a little awkward, like an awkward theater kid that was told to say one thing and then got so awkward that she took it off in a completely different direction, like talking about how it's not 1937 anymore, which, hey, she did at least get the year right on that. I think that she did not mean to say all the things that she said, but maybe someone from Disney coached her and she took it way too far. She probably was not supposed to say that her male co-star might get uh, cut out of the film entirely. That being said, uh, a lot of her discourse online after that was kind of defensive, kind of the kind of the kind of thing that you would expect from someone who has a lot of positive uh, feedback online that suddenly, Uh, ventures into an area where a lot of people dislike her. Maybe she was dismissing all those people as outside of her audience and therefore delegitimize uh, what they say. I don't think she realized that uh, a lot of people actually like Snow White, which is a a foundational pillar of uh, the Walt Disney Company, and that maybe she should have said, that's not what I meant to say. Or maybe someone from the Disney Company should have clarified that that's not what they meant to say. Instead, they said, oh, no, 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 we've never said anything we didn't intend to say. We're just going to reshoot this entire film. We'd rather spend another 150 to $200 million reshooting this film than, uh, than admitting that maybe they mishandled some press. Avash, am I going too far with this? No, I think you you have an accurate uh, read on this. Here's the thing. Uh, we have heard nothing but bad reports surrounding this whole film. And to the point where it's just kind of part of this belief system online. I don't know, Jonas, have you seen this where people like think this is canceled? <laughs> like they, they have this belief that uh, maybe Disney put this in the can and maybe never speak about it again in a similar way that uh, David Zaslav did with Batgirl. Uh, But no, I mean, it is actively in production, I guess, again, or maybe just concluded. I don't know. This is a a very important film for the Walt Disney Company for multiple reasons. One, uh, it it really, to me, it's a it's it's a bellwether to see whether or not these live action films uh, reimagined from animation uh, are even viable going forward. And two, you know, this is the film that put Disney on the map. They have to get this right. And I just don't know if I have confidence that they will. I I, I don't have confidence that they will uh, either. The the director of this is Mark Webb, who uh, worked on the Amazing Spider-Man films, and I I actually like the first Amazing Spider-Man film. It, it it I liked some of the things that they did. I, the swinging in that film, for instance, felt more realistic to me, and and maybe a little life threatening. Um, probably what wasn't better than the Sam Raimi ones, where they hit all those comic poses. Uh, anyhow, uh, Mark Webb obviously was the the man whose name ended up being attached to Amazing Spider-Man 2. I'm not saying it wasn't his film, but that is a film that is famous for a lot of studio interference and, uh, and too many things being put on one film, trying to build a bunch of other films in a cinematic universe. 
and uh, and and obviously the the best we have from that now is a is a cameo, not a cameo, but a an appearance in No Way Home, where we get some kind of resolution to that story. We can only be nostalgic for what uh, Amazing Spider-Man Two was trying to do at this point. But now he's uh, over here. He's in charge of this film. I think uh, the soundtrack has uh, has some talent attached to it. If I'm not mistaken, isn't Greta Gerwig a co-writer on this film? Which I know that's going to cause some people to say that's not a good thing. But uh, Greta Gerwig is not a bad writer. So depending on how they do it, um, you know, this this could be good. She's not incapable of writing a good film. She just uh, maybe not everybody agrees with her politics here. But under Disney. Who knows? Maybe she could make something great. Or maybe um, if Disney could just get around to making a film that looks good uh, and pre-planning instead of rushing everything into production and then figuring it out later, they could save themselves a little bit of money. Maybe they could have profitable films. That would be a, a great idea. They should look into that. Well, and we haven't talked about that, Jonas. We haven't talked about how much this film might be. And what do you think is going to be the, uh, the the amount here? Maybe we can... I don't know, put some bits in the chat or something. No, because uh, <laughs> because I'm thinking if you are going back and reshooting large portions of this, maybe two, three times, maybe even the second time. I mean, we could inflate pretty high and, and, and who knows whether or not this was attached to the, some of those covid figures uh, that really got the uh, films like Little Mermaid into trouble. I don't know. This this could be a very expensive production. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I don't like to try to predict box office because you never know. I didn't think Inside Out 2 was going to go well, but uh, when the, when the figures came in and said they were high, I still didn't quite believe it. Uh, there's some people who like to say that I predicted that it was going to bomb at the box office. No, a guess is different than a prediction. I'm not putting anything in writing on this stuff. I generally speaking, don't like to do that because I'm not a prognosticator. But that being said, this film is going to have to make a lot of money at the box office in order to justify the amount of money that they spent on it. Of course, the other thing with Disney is that when they make a movie, it's remembered forever. And they want to merchandise that thing for a hundred years. So I don't know what's going to come out of this one. Uh, let us know your thoughts on this entire situation in the comment section down below. Is there any world in which you would actually consider going to see uh, this film? Uh, or or has the taste, our, our audience is not necessarily the biggest Rachel Ziegler fans. I do think she's talented. She probably needs a publicist very, very badly. But uh, I, I think that um, you should think, what are the things that could happen to get me into the theater? Um, and uh, let's all try to keep it uh, civil in the comment section down below. Of course, like this video if you like this video and consider subscribing to That Park Place for all the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.